with a breaking news alert regarding Navy veteran and U.S. Senator John McCain. Senator McCain passed away today at the age of 81. Yeah, he served in the U.S. Senate for more than three decades. Tonight, NBC's Blaine Alexander takes a look back at his remarkable life. We're no longer staring into the abyss of defeat. And we Unapologetic can and unwavering, Senator John McCain praised as a maverick and a larger-than-life force in Washington. For more than three decades, McCain served in the U.S. Senate, an Arizona Republican, but known to dramatically break party lines. One of his final acts on the Senate floor, casting the deciding vote to doom the GOP's Obamacare repeal. I'm a fighter for this country, and I don't just say it, I live it. McCain started fighting for his country long before entering the halls of Congress. Born into a prominent U.S. Navy family, the son and grandson of admirals, McCain graduated from the U.S. Naval Academy in 1958. A fighter pilot in Vietnam, McCain was shot down and held captive in a Vietnamese prison, the infamous Hanoi Hilton. Because of his father's rank, McCain was offered early release but refused and for nearly six years held and tortured as a prisoner of war. Nearly a decade later, McCain entered politics, first as a congressman, later senator, where he would be re-elected five times. McCain's wife Cindy was often by his side throughout his political career, including his bids for president. Here's a little straight talk for you. In 2000, McCain lost a bitter primary fight to George W. Bush, but in 2008, he secured his party's nomination to face Democratic candidate Barack Obama. Despite the hard-fought campaign, McCain's principles were on display when he famously defended his opponent at a campaign rally. He's an Arab. He is not... No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma no, ma no, ma he's, a, he's, a, he's a decent family man, citizen that I just happen to have disagreements with on, on fundamental issues, and that's what this campaign is all about. He's not. Thank you. Despite his storied military career, McCain says he never considered himself a hero, but for many in a grateful nation, he was the definition. John McCain and everybody like him is an American hero. <laughs> John McCain celebrated for a lifetime of service to his country. Blaine Alexander, NBC News. Senator McCain's wife Cindy took to Twitter just a short time ago saying, quote, my heart is broken. I'm so lucky to have lived the adventure of loving this incredible man for 38 years. He passed away the way he lived on his own terms, surrounded by the people he loved in the place that he loved best. Meantime, President Trump also taking to Twitter saying, quote, my deepest sympathies and respect go out to the family of Senator John McCain. Our hearts and prayers are with you. And President Obama, who won the 2008 election in a race against McCain, issuing this statement, reading in part, few of us have been tested the way John once was or required to show the kind of courage that he did. But all of us can aspire to the courage, to the courage to put the greater good above our own. At John's best, he showed us what that means. State Representative Sarah Davis met McCain during one of his trips here to Texas back in 2008. This evening she spoke about their meeting and said while their conversation was short, he made a lasting impression. He is just truly uh, a statesman and our country was, was very lucky to have him uh, serve not only in the Senate but in the military for, for us. So it is a, it's a great loss. You can read more about Senator McCain.